Amitofo, let me first uh, um, read the sutra. The Buddha said to Ananda, You and I are close relatives from the same parental family. In fact, the closest cousin in relationship. At the time when you took monastic vow, you must have seen something in my dharma, and that led you to abandon the worldly love of family. Why suddenly Buddha asked about, mentioned about relationship? Because Ananda was shocked at that time. Buddha want to calm down him, to comfort him. And uh, Buddha want to tell Ananda, later on I will ask a lot of questions. Don't, don't be nervous. Actually, those questions actually for the benefit of you because we are close cousins. I don't want to hurt you. I only want to give benefit to you. Okay, and the second question is why Buddha asked Ananda and say you must have seen something in my Dharma. Why ask this question? Because the main purpose of this sutra is to teach us, to show us what is Buddha's nature. In order to uh, introduce what is Buddha's nature, before doing that, Buddha wants us to know what is not Buddha's nature, what is illusionary mind. That's why Buddha asked this question. Another thing is Buddha want to uh, explain to us. Later on, Buddha did explain to us anything from Buddha's nature. Because Buddha's nature is permanent, the result will be permanent. Anything from illusionary mind, because illusionary mind is temporary, is conditional. And that's why the result from the illusionary will be temporary, not permanent. That is why Buddha asked the question, why you have, what you have seen at the time when you become a monk. You must have seen something in my Dharma. That's why you become the monk. Buddha want ask Ananda the real life experience so that Ananda will have no difficult, will be easy to understand what Buddha mentioned about the illusionary mind. What is illusionary mind? That's why Buddha asked this question. Thank you for watching. And if you have question, you can always email to us, huayenusa at gmail.com, the International Huayen Buddhist Federation. Thank you. Amitofo.